Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how can you embed a flow inside an Aura component. So first of all, why we, we might need to add a flow to an Aura component. Uh, sometimes you need to access your flow in, from a quick action button like this, or in a Gmail integration panel or Outlook integration panel, you create a, a screen flow and you would like to access it from a global action like this. Um, let me show you how we can do something like this. So first of all, I will quickly create a flow. Of course, it's a screen flow. Okay. I will add a screen here. Okay, for any input, let's say text field. Okay, say account name or whatever you prefer. Um, and let's see. Oh, sorry. I'm going to give it screen. Save, save. Sample. Yeah. Okay. Save. And activate it. Uh, the next thing is to create an aura component. So you can create aura component and you can call it sample aura with flow. Okay. It without spaces okay now in order to be able to access it from your global action you need to implement force and you can write lightning quick action now our auto component is available to be selected from your quick action uh, whenever you create a quick action and add it to your publisher here uh, then you need to add a component for flow so this tag will allow you to display a flow in your aura component let's give it my flow um, let's assign an id to it so aura id equal my flow let's close okay next we will go and see our controller we can access controller from here and we have a function called my action let's call it init okay and then our uh, component here, let's say aura handler, let's say name equal in it. Okay, and its value will be here. This and the action should be. Okay, so this JavaScript function will run as soon as the URL component is uh, loaded. Okay, so what should happen here? First of all, you have to declare a, uh, a variable for flow um, and dot find, you can find your URL component ID and we called it my flow. So you declare the variable called flow and it will access the value here in your aura uh, lightning flow. Okay, um, let's do some formatting here to make it more clean. Oh. Okay, next thing after you declared the variable, you can start saying flow.start. Let's say start flow. And here you can base the API name of your flow, whatever the stream flow you created. So for example, this one, I think the API name called sample flow. Okay. So we will go to our code and this flow will start sample flow. Let's save. Make sure there is no problems. Okay. Make sure you implement the force lightning quick action interface so that you can access this uh, aura component from a global action. Next thing is to go to global action. You can select a new action. Now you can find lightning component here and you can you can find that your aura component sample aura with flow is available. Why? Because it's implement your aura component implements first lightning quick action. Okay, 
you can call it run sample flow and save perfect and we will go back and go to our publisher layout because until now we didn't add it to our publisher layout this is called the publisher layout let's go to our publisher layout edit it and go to lightning actions here you can find your run sample flow action is available here you can drag and drop it here let's keep it at the first place um, refresh your page okay so now run sample flow is available as an action in your global action what should we expect here we expect here it will load your aura component and for some reason it throw an error let's see who are you throw an error because it seems our action here is uh, missing the control dot init so we have a function in our controller called init we need to call it by c dot init let's refresh now try your, to run your action perfect it's loaded successfully so make sure not to forget adding c dot init here and successfully we display the flow in our aura component but what if i would like to pass what if my aura component contains some values variables i would like to pass to my screen flow okay here it's slightly better challenging so in my flow i will create a variable here okay I will call it, um, let's call it um, ACC name, for example, account name. And it should be a text value. And make sure it's available for input. So this variable is flow variable from a text type. And it's available for input. So it can receive value from outside your flow. Okay. So let's save our flow. Activate the version. Go back here. So in our controller here, we can add something. We can declare an array of objects called input variables. Okay. Um, here should be an array of objects. So it receives the name. The name of the variable, as we declared in our flow, it's called ACC name. And the type um, is string. Okay, and the value here you can pass any value from your own or a component to your uh, variable. So the value, let's say we can call it Salesforce Heavy Corner Account. Okay, any value. And in your start function here, so this method receives the first parameter is the flow ABI name. The second parameter should be your input variable array. So I will call it input variables here. And don't forget to add semicolon. And let's see. OK, one more thing in my flow. I can display a text here. Uh, let's keep it the first item here. And test accepting uh, variable. Okay, we just need to test how the variable we are sending from our aura component will be displayed here. So let's say, okay, I made a mistake here. There shouldn't be any spaces. Let's say my ACC name variable equal, and we can add the variable. So let's make it bold, 14 and in brown color okay save save as activate doing this will allow you to see if your flow successfully received the input variable acc name from your aura component or not so let's go back to our salesforce organization and refresh Now, if you try to run your sample flow, oh, you see here. So our flow successfully received a value from your aura component 
inside it. And as I told you, it is an array of objects. So you can create multiple variables and pass them to, the, to your flow. Uh, to make the idea more clear, I can create another variable here. Let's say new variable. Let's say it's API name. Let's say anything. Let's say, for example, my variable. Okay. Um, and it's type is text. And again, make sure it's available for input. So done. And also, you can add here my second variable equal and we can add the variable um, that we will use okay let's keep it without yes like this okay now our flow is ready to accept two values instead of only one it's optional you can run your flow if you have only one value for your parameter for your variable but you can add more values so you can add another set of variables and you can say name and make sure it's aligned with whatever you call the variable in your flow and the type equal text you know it's a string type and the value you can refer to any variable in your aura component and pass it to this variable or you can keep it static like for example in our example here it's a static value of this second value okay um let's save Make sure there is no any problems of saving. Let's try again now. Perfect. Now the second variable has been displayed correctly without issue, and this is great. Um, so the idea here is how to start the flow from input from your uh, or component and insert insert values for this flow variables. You know, whatever variable here configured to be available for input. You can pass a value for it and it will work. I hope this is helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions or any comments. And don't forget to like this video, share, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.